Hi, my name is Liam Quinn, and my artist name is Mostly Sleeping. My name is Stefan. I am a producer engineer at Studios 301, and I also mix in Dolby Atmos. To me, if you're kind of like an indie artist, it's a pretty cool way to show that you're serious about what you're doing and you want to do everything you can to get to where you want to be. Once an artist hears their mix coming from a stereo system to an Atmos immersive system, they'll hear how different and creative their work has become. And the Neumann monitors are providing an absolute clarity and precision to provide that absolute best experience they can to that artist. And when they hear that mix for the first time, they're going to be blown away by what they actually hear. I felt like I was in like a one player. You know what I mean? Like you go to a theme park as a kid and you're like, oh my God, I can go here, I can go here and here. So it's like, it's, um, yeah, you just have to experience it. You just have way more headroom. So for instance, this song is pretty compressed uh, in the stereo version, which is a pretty standard thing to do with like pop. But in this, we basically went from the chorus, which is quite dynamic, and then into the chorus, it just hits like a whole other level where before it would have just kind of stayed the same level. You actually have room to have these dynamic shifts throughout the song. So you can go like intro, verse, chorus, massive, back down and then kind of build and there's still space to go higher and higher so that in the last chorus it's just absolutely massive. It was nice to hear it in a different context. Probably just opens up thoughts and ideas of like what I could have done differently if I had written it in this space. With dynamics I'm trying to get there with instrumentation but I feel like here you've got a different approach to getting dynamics which is really cool. So yeah overall it probably just changes your way of listening and way of writing. The way that we're approaching Dolby Atmos with artists it's a bit of an implication. Being able to kind of showcase that and get artists to have that experience and understand what immersive is and is has just been incredible. So obviously from an engineering point of view, engineers are still curious on what all that means, but being able to show artists in the, the perfect environment what the difference is, is great. Super cool to just hear it in a, yeah, just a different way. It makes me remember why I kind of got into music in the first place. Like just, I feel like you're physically surrounded and that's when you fall in love with it.